Hi guys, welcome to an extremely short learning electronics repair video. This is the laptop I published the video yesterday with this, so this was doing all sorts of crazy things basically. And there was a number of suggestions and comments. I called the video why I hate laptop repair sometimes. <laughs> and amongst the various suggestions was the most common one that it had a faulty keyboard particularly because the power button will not switch it on but some of the other keys will and the other strange thing it was doing which was if you go to the bios which you could do and then repeatedly navigate around to the bios it'll keep running as soon as you stop navigating wait a few seconds it'll shut down so i don't have a replacement keyboard for this but somebody said well start it and then disconnect the keyboard straight away so that's what I'm going to do and let's see what happens. I now have my SSD in here with Windows 10 on. I'm still connecting to the bench power supply so we can see what happens when we switch this on. And we can see we have 19 volts or so, 100 milliamps, sorry, 10 milliamps of current being drawn. Power button doesn't do anything. I'm just going to get this in a position where I can actually disconnect the keyboard. And then we press one of these keys and it's starting okay so i've now disconnected the keyboard i've just pushed it out of the socket actually please wait so the machine now isn't shutting down and it's loading windows yeah can you see that little logo there whizzing round and round so this is loading windows there we go and now it wants to restart the pc because to be quite honest it's been switched off it wasn't shut down properly so i'll just get an external keyboard or mouse and i'll just uh, tell it to restart the pc i've connected a usb external keyboard okay let's see yes i can navigate so restart my pc hopefully it'll just start normally this time but you can see the laptop is working Okay, we want the login screen. And there we are, we're in Windows. So clearly you can see that the problem with this is the keyboard. Yeah, that's my hard drive, just setting the drivers for the screen size. This is my test hard drive. What I need to do now is figure out how much a keyboard is for one of these. These are the kind of like the integrated ones. I know it is possible to change the keyboard, it's not particularly easy. So let's shut this down and let's have a look to see how much a keyboard would cost for this. I need to quote the owner anyway before I fix it. So I'll just use the Windows key shortcut to hopefully shut this down if I can just do it, otherwise I'll plug a mouse into it. I'm sure there is some command that does this actually. Sorry, what plug a mouse into it? <laughs> I think there's only one USB on this, so we'll disconnect the keyboard. Okay, yeah, we have a mouse now. And there we are. So this is a Acer EX2540 or maybe the other one, N16C1. That's the actual model number. Let's have a quick look for keyboards. Okay, a little bit of searching and getting the actual number of the keyboard, which is this one, LV5T-A51B, which was on the ribbon cable of the keyboard. I can see that these are 20 euros. This is the Spanish layout you see with the n letter there yeah that's like an el nino that one okay they need that letter apparently so that's the one this is just the actual keyboard they're a bit tricky to change these basically you have to use a heat gun to melt little plastic things i'll show you in a minute but that is the keyboard i'll have a word with handy andy i'll give him a quote on 
replacing this and then maybe see if we can actually find the complete keyboard with all the plastic frame as well i didn't actually see one okay but he can have a look that would be more expensive to buy but the job may not be much more expensive because there's a cost of actually changing this one yeah so that gives us a good idea anyway it's shipping from spain so it's fairly quick as i just mentioned the keyboard effectively is held down by these little plastic things which are kind of like molded the only way to get this off literally is to warm the whole area up with a heat gun and just prise it off and try not to melt the plastic frame yeah i've done them before they're not particularly easy but they're not difficult if you know what i mean it just takes a bit of patience and then normally you can push the other one in place and manage to melt these things again so it'll hold it down or some other sort of adhesive to do it okay I think you can probably see there's like a metal frame here which actually goes over the keyboard so the keyboard actually sits underneath this metal frame but a lot of these plastic things actually go through both okay so that's uh, part two of that I did say I would do I still stand by what I said that I hate laptop repair sometimes but I will also say I love the help we get on this community learning electronics repair yeah Thanks guys, a joint effort for those of you who didn't know and I didn't know that a keyboard could cause that sort of fault. Well, next time I have a laptop that's powered on and off, I'm going to disconnect the keyboard and see what happens, yeah? Okay, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all soon on another Oil Electronics Repair video. Ciao for now guys.